how RPI is reacted to last night's come from behind loss, if you will. You know, are they going to come out and play with edge and intensity? Yes, they are, because a great goal scoring chance right off that uh, initial rush. Up on it first is Jake Johnson, who plays it up the wall. Kept at the line there by Seedham, who had a goal from a similar area last night. Second goal in the comeback. Quick there, and Harvard scores! Pass on the doorstep. It's smothered through John Farinacci on the one-timer. Able to beat Watson, and only four and a half minutes in, Harvard's on the board first. Well, this is exactly how you wanted to pick up for Harvard, right? Get an early goal, put RPI on the defensive. It's the Garden State line reunited. Gaffney with a feed to Farinacci and the New Jersey trio, which was so pivotal down the stretch for Harvard. Watson unable to stop it behind his own net where Donato drops it off for Dornbach. Dornbach turns around, puts it up to the point for Moore, and it goes through and they score! It was tipped along the way, kind of skittered across the ice. Looks like Thrun might get credit for the goal. Well, and this is in baseball what they call a three hopper, right? One, initial shot, initial two, deflection, yeah. and then it just kind of goes dribbling through the leg. Then we expect it to be with five minutes to go in the game last night. This series has been turned on its head, but a rebound scores! Adamo with a body position off the rebound, and the lead is cut to one, it's two to one. That's uh, a big response there from RPI. Great job, we talked a couple times already about Gibson controlling shots, not giving up rebounds. Here he has no choice but to give up a rebound, right? Rister from the point, it's low, he's gotta kick it out, but he doesn't kick it all the way to the corner, he kinda kicks it back towards what they did. It took a lot of skill, took a lot of practice, but there was also some luck involved. So, Absolutely. you know, part of the mission to, was to come out and have a better start. Look out here, RPI rips it just wide as TJ Walsh, who had an excellent game last night, the Northeastern transfer nearly tied the Harvard side. Farrell gets smothered by Surdy, trying to assert his dominance. Seedham gets around his man, Seedham to the slot, the shot was blocked, and then he runs his man over. Some good physicality from both teams, but a two-on-one developing. Lacka with Lepin into his right, shot, Lacka! with COVID at different points in the season, but you had a couple different Olympians, had a World Junior player who was gone as well. You had injuries. And the centering feed, oh my gosh, what a save by Watson. That might have been the best save of the series for Watson. We'll have to take another look, but a one-time try from a first-round NHL draft pick on the other end of that, and Watson was there with time to spare. Well, terrific athleticism going post to post. What an unbelievable pass, though, yeah, to see that. Free down low had washed out a potential high stick. Lacka, the backhand to Linden. He scored from that same spot last night. Agnew picks up the rebound. Here's the push that's coming from RPI. And a little response, lepping in back to Lacka around. Gaffney's now there for Harvard in the area. Couldn't clear the zone. Ryan Seedham for the Crimson. Shot from the point. Juicy rebound, and one of the RPI engineers has run into Gibson. The whistle blows. I think we're going to get a penalty. Yep, that's going to be goalie. Forced the issue a little bit down by a goal. Yeah, maybe 10 more minutes of it would be my estimation. Harvard has really controlled play since the halfway point of the second period or so. It's not meeting as much resistance through the neutral ice. Gaffney forces the steal. Laferriere with him. Laferriere looking in the direction back towards Gaffney. Never had a passing lane, but somebody else is there. It's Farinacci in front for Gaffney and a one. Played their prep school hockey at St. Mark's School. Imagine that, playing prep school hockey, college hockey, and then pro hockey with your same partner as RPI scores and ties the game. My goodness, it's Laka in front with a pretty passing play. And we're all even with 12-16 left. Well, he said if RPI was going to be able to take advantage of one of their few chances, they finally get some puck possession. And it's that top line. How about this feed from Lepinen on the backhand? Able to square up. He sees Lack on the net drive. Harvard doesn't recognize him, and he's left open on that far post. Just a tying goal. You know, they're one more good shift away from getting right back in this series. Yeah, how about the medal that they've shown in the playoffs? Lacka with a puck, sets it up. Gibson kept it out, but just barely caught it with. Really have been waiting to play in the playoffs since 
That 1920 series, which was set to be at Houston Fieldhouse, was canceled. Going to be against this Harvard team. Coach Smith talking about how much of a blow that was for his guys and how much credit he gave to his guys who stuck around. And they're here for this moment, looking for a lead now. And they have it! It's Dubinsky who scores! An RPI late in the third period as their first lead in game two. Well, Dubinsky gets the goal, but full credit to T.J. Walsh, who made this one happen. And it's another of the fourth line crew for RPI. Good, aggressive rush by Walsh. He's able to keep that puck on his stick despite the tap from a coin. And he's just able to slide it into space for Dubinsky. Gibson still in net. Yes, sir. 2.20 to go. Top line out there for Harvard. Coronado buzzing. Centering feed. They score! It was Abru Zizi who got the pass and put it through. Harvard has tied the game late for a second straight night, and we're knotted up at three. Well, same combination that got it done in the final. Lepinen out there. Agnew playing defense. Lack of one of the goal scorers. Strong on the stick, but here's Laferriere the into the zone. Gives it over for Farinacci. Goes to the net, and he takes out the goaltender. The puck ends up behind the goal line, but clearly contact of the goalie. And putting in. Donato to one of Harvard's best defensive forwards. Look out. Abruzzi almost stepped in front. And they have it. Farrell for Abruzzi, and it's stopped by Watson. Oh my goodness. Abruzzi. It's kind of a blind chuck by Coronado. Johnson ahead for Beaton. That's the nine and a half to play here in the first overtime. Bouncing puck, rebound is there, and Gibson swatted it away. Why, that might have been a spin we able to play it, but I guess not. And no one else touched it along the way, so. Same situation as a few seconds ago. Harvard controls this time in Watford feed. Three and a half in this power play. Johnson into the circle. Lepinen down low. Abruzzi line to play denoted by the center's name. By the way, the Fies got it for Seedem. Dropped off for Abruzzi. Cross ice feed, and the one-timer goes wide, but comes off the boards with a little bit of spirit. Potential for a 2-1-1 the other way. Mashy centering feed, they score! It's over, Beaton wins it for RPI, and we'll see you tomorrow for a game three here in Cambridge. Unbelievable. Down 2 nothing. Gave up a three goal lead last night. Season on the line. Now well, their head coach feels prophetic. Say it's hard to end a team season. It takes a lot. And RPI.